Hi, this is Kathleen from Sunny Mountain Patterns. I'm going to show you uh, what to do if you're trying to do some adjustments and you can't quite grab the PDF that you've imported into Inkscape um, if there's some problems. So this is actually the pattern from my Etsy shop, which is going to be Sunny Mountain Pattern <laughs> without an S. It's going to be the shady jumpsuit coveralls. So I've already imported and deleted or ungrouped this group and I've deleted the black um, layer that I have for uh, visibility. Say this is the set of patterns you want. If you look down here, it says group of objects. Um, when you want to do any type of SVG cutting, so if you go to path and they have union, here we go, path, union, difference, etc., to do adjustments such as lengthening or shortening, this has to be a path. So first off, we're going to have to ungroup these. It's pretty easy. You just go to um, object and ungroup. So now you have, should have dashed lines around every individual one. You just got to let it do its... I have to do it again. Ungroup. There we go. Now you can see the dashed lines are on around every single one. Now when you click on this, uh, it says group of one object in layer. Okay, We don't want to group at all. We want just one object. So we're going to ungroup that again and see if that fixes the problem. So at this point, now you see it's this path of six nodes. Great. That means it's an SVG or a scalable vector graphic, meaning if you click on the path, edit path by nodes, you can see all of these nodes and you can actually individually move things. Now there's two layers here. Um, I don't know why. If I delete all of it, maybe it'll just isolate the thing, um, isolate the path. It's just the way it, uh, Inkscape interpreted how these things are imported. This is by no means how it shows up when I am drafting it, the pattern. Um, so you can see that I can do any type of adjustments I want, including the shortening or lengthening where you draw the rectangle and you, um, I click twice to rotate it and say you want to shorten it. Uh, so one of the problems is one, this rectangle, is an object. It's a rectangle. It's not a path. It has to be converted to a path. So if down here in the lower part, it says rectangle or an object, if it's just some random object rather than an actual shape, you have to go to path, object to path. Now when you click on it, it will say path. There's eight nodes in this layer. I, I don't know why. It says eight. should only be four. <laughs> There's only four. Um, but now you'll be able to do your manipulation. If I press shift and click on the other piece that I want to delete, uh, when I go to path, and I hope this works, see one of the objects is not a path. So one of these, uh, see it still says it's grouped, even though I ungrouped it. Try ungrouping it again. Sometimes there's a bunch of groups that you can't see. So it's a group of one object. So I want to ungroup, ungroup it. Now let's try. It says path, and this should say a path with eight nodes. And so we're going to click both of these. I'm holding shift down while I'm clicking, or you can draw the marquee completely around these pieces. Let's try this again. Difference. There you go. So the, the problem solving here is to ungroup, shift control G, or actually go to object ungroup. And then keep clicking this until it no longer says group or object. So shift control G, now it says path, so we're good. And then if you have shapes that you're making that you want to combine, uh, once you establish the shape, which in this case is an object or a rectangle, as is down here, you're going to have to go to path and stroke, object to path. Sorry, not stroke to path. So if I had a rant, that's not going to help, a triangle. It should say object. No, it's polygon. Yeah. It's either going to say an actual shape name, so polygon, circle, rectangle, or square. Or I don't think they say square. And that's just going to be an object. It's not a scalable vector graphic in which you have points that you can manipulate um, all over the place. Once I've changed this to a path, now I can... Oh, that's not going to help. I can grab these corners, any of the corners, and move them. But right now, it's an object, which is a shape. Uh, so if I go to path, object to path, and click on the um, node manipulator, you see how there's four? There's actually more than four. 
it's decided to add on um, two more or two per position. That's probably why it's eight now. So if I zoom in, I can move these points versus before I'm controlling Z to undo. Before I'm gonna undo it and make sure that it's a rectangle. If I press this, now the only there's no points I can move. I can basically only move it the shape. There's I can't do the other corners or individually. Uh, so that's the difference between an object and a path. So this hopefully will help you solve the problem of trying to lengthen or shorten an imported PDF um, by converting the shape into a path or a sp scalable vector graphic, which there's a whole technical reason for why it's called that. Uh, but all you need to know is you need to be able to grab the points here um, in order to do any type of manipulation. So I hope this helps. Uh, again, this is Kathleen with Sunny Mountain Patterns. Thanks.